This is today's property that we're walking through and the house that I will be holding open on Saturday the 15th, I believe it is, from 1 to 3. It's sitting in the edge of a cul-de-sac in central San Antonio. This property is 13706 Village Wood. It's in a neighborhood that was established in the early 80s and there is no HOA in this neighborhood which means that every house is unique and different and there's a lot of pride of ownership in this neighborhood. This is the pool lady's car and uh, you'll probably get to see her in the backyard but this house has a circular driveway up front, two car garage here. It's very surprising though if you look at this it looks fairly unassuming but once we get inside you'll see that this place is enormous. It's got over 3,800 square feet and three bedrooms, three baths, but you'll see that there's a ton of room for entertaining in this place. So let's walk inside. Now being built in the 80s, the floor plan is a little different from what we expect now. We tend to go towards all the open floor plans. I tend to think that there's benefit to having separation in your cooking areas and your entertaining areas, especially if you are a messy cook like I am. So in the front here we have what would have initially been probably the formal living area with the fireplace, kind of offset, open by two doorways, one to the entryway in which I'm standing and the other into the full living room. We've got, uh, looks like hand scraped wood flooring, vaulted ceiling, two ceiling fans. This house is built in 83, so even though there's some popcorn on the ceiling, it would not be asbestos-based, so you would not have to have expensive removal if you did not want to. And it's pretty high up there, so it's not very pervasive. So after coming to the living room, we can see that this is the direction we go to the kitchen. Now the kitchen is very spacious. We've got a bar where you could put chairs, stools up to, probably fit three or four stools up there if you wanted to. We have the cooking surface over here with the down vent, double ovens. Um, the finish on the cabinet is very indicative of probably the early 90s, but there is a ton of opportunity for improvement in this space, and the house is priced very appropriately at 675000 You can see a ton of cabinet space here with an island in the middle with the butcher block top. And then over here on this side is your dedicated eating area. Plenty of room for a nice big table. You could fit probably six to eight people very comfortably around a table in this area. It's got the vaulted ceiling also. We've got the same popcorn texture throughout. Consistency is important, so even if you don't like it, at least it's the same everywhere. And as I said, it's not the dangerous kind of popcorn. So over here on the side, we have what probably is intended to be the formal dining room. The placement of this would make it probably pretty convenient to turn into a home office if you put double doors, French doors over here, separating it from the living room, and French doors over here separating it from the kitchen, and you've got a nice big home office space that looks out over the backyard. And you just have to take down the awesome chandelier. So let's go past the kitchen into the rest of the house. Over here on the right, we have a bathroom with a shower and one of the many hidden surprises in this house. That is the door to the backyard, but if we turn this direction, we will see a sauna in your own home. How amazing is that? What a retreat this would be. To come in here today and kick back in the spa. Whew. And then you could cancel your gym membership. So, Outside of the sauna, you could come out of there all sweaty and refresh, jump right in the shower and then be ready to go. But let's see what else is on this side of the house. We have our laundry room with room for a washer and dryer side by side and room for a refrigerator over here if you wanted to. And there's actually storage in here as well. So you can hang up your hang to dry clothes and put away all the linens and whatnot that we keep in our laundry rooms hidden away. So let's go back this direction. Over here we have the garage and this house has lots of closets. See here's the pantry because remember we're very close to the kitchen. Good size pantry. Easily accessible from the kitchen. So let's look at the garage. 
and not get the lights turned on in here. All right, so here we have a, make sure I'm not gonna get locked in. I am. So here we have a two car garage. We've got what looks like chipboard on the walls, but honestly, it, does, uh, it doesn't bother me at all. It's very nice in here. This area is not, not very hot, which is great. It's pretty warm outside, so if the garage is maintaining a cooler temperature, then that tells you that the tree cover is doing its job to keep your, probably keep your cooling bills down in the house. So, back into the main part of the home. We are, you'll notice that over here from the kitchen, there is not a, uh, a way to get through to the entryway. So that's what I was talking about, it being segmented, which is kind of nice. If you're going to entertain, you don't always want people in your mess. So let's go back over here to the main part of the house. There's the doorway that I came in from. This is the formal living room with the fireplace. Great place for your Christmas tree right there in the corner. Heck, you could have two Christmas trees, one on either side. And then we are in the informal living room, family room right here. They've got a bar over here, and that bar is uh, a piece of furniture, but it looks like they're leaving it. So let's go to this side of the room, of the house. All right, walking down the hallway. Have another closet on this side, linen closet. And then we come to an intersection. So let's go right first. Here we have two bedrooms, good size secondary bedrooms with a walk-in closet. And then in the other secondary bedroom, also very good size with a nice big open closet. All right, and we're gonna walk down the hallway. Here we have the bathroom that services those two bedrooms. This is a toilet and shower bathroom. So that's what we call a three-quarter bath with the sink. And then this is interesting. So if I turn to the left here, I will see what is probably set up as a, an office. But what I would do if I were to purchase this house is I would close up that door right there and then turn this into something of a bedroom. Now, because it does not have a second point of egress, which means another window or another door, you would probably have to leave some sort of door over here so that you could technically count it as a bedroom. But if you have one of those kids who loves sleeping when it's super dark in there, there'd be no windows in this room. And it could sort of count as a bedroom. As long as there are two ways in or out of a room, it is considered a bedroom. So technically this could be considered a bedroom the way that it's set up right now. So we've got three bedrooms listed in the MLS, the two over here and then the master. But if you were to count this as a bedroom as well, then that would be four bedrooms instead of three. So let's walk into the master. This is humongous, very, very large room. Here are the double doors to that room I was just showing you. We've got double doors that go to the backyard. Huge. I mean, like probably the size of two decent master size bedrooms. So let's look at the bathroom area with the closets. So we have a his closet right here. It's probably 10 to 12 feet deep, hanging on both sides. Directly across from that, we have another linen closet. And then the her closet is over here. This one's super interesting because you've got the same amount of space and then you've got this doorway in the back with like this secret area with tons of shelving for storage shoes and hanging up belts and necklaces and whatnot. So, and then the greatest thing about early 80s houses is that they always have these built-in cabinets and laundry chutes and everything else that you don't find in newer homes. So we've got a nice long double vanity here. Behind the door there's a mirror in case you caught that. Long double vanity. Over here we have the WC separated by a door and then you've got your very deep large garden tub and a very large walk-in shower there are so many possibilities for updating aesthetically in this place and honestly i'm not seeing signs of foundation settlement obviously i am not a contractor I do not have the license to evaluate that sort of thing, but I'm not seeing the cracks around the windows 
the ceiling separations or anything like that that would indicate structural problems. So I would think that the majority of your corrections would be cosmetic. So we're going to go out these double doors right here to the backyard. Again, I'm in the bedroom. So, and the pool lady is still over there working. So these are the doors that were to the living room. And if you look past the two windows, you can see down there there's a floor mat. And that's the door to that bathroom that's right next to the spa, the sauna, sorry. So in the backyard, oh my gosh, what a surprise, there is a full-size tennis court. So this house is on a cul-de-sac, which means that the backyard is proportionately much larger than the front yard. It's like a piece of pie. So back here we have a full-size tennis court. And you know, if you're not into tennis, this could be repurposed into a basketball court super easily. You can imagine that it could probably be repurposed into several different sports. In my house, that would probably turn into some sort of dance floor or something else, but you know, to each his own. Over here on the side of the house, we still have a decent sized yard for all of your pets and kids and anybody who likes grass. Lots of space right off of the master bedroom. And a nice big shed over here. Put some garden tools in there. It's painted to match the house, which is nice. So we're gonna go back over and look at the pool side of the backyard. So back behind here, you might hear some road traffic. That is Bitters Road, which is kind of a busy road, but the cool thing is that this tree barrier that has been planted here, you can't see any of it. You cannot see a, any hint of any vehicles moving back there. And the noise that you're getting is just passing noise. It's not ugly traffic noise. There's not screaming, yelling, honking, anything like that. It's just the cars going by. So over here on this side of the yard, where we also have some grass, There is the pool. It's much bigger than you think it is. With the hot tub. No, no problem. How deep is the pool over here? Um, it's not that deep. It's like on the deep end, it's about feet. She said six feet on the deep end. Okay, cool. And the shallow end is what, like three, four? Three and a half. Three and a half feet? Okay. Thank you. I appreciate that. We've got the wrought iron gate. I know, this is a fantastic property. It's great. So over here we have storage for the pool stuff. Nice big room. Keep all your floaties. And then the gate. Is that okay? Sure. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. So let's talk logistics. This house is three bedrooms, three baths. Uh, it's over 3,800 square feet. It was built in 1983. It is listed currently at 675. And it is located in a very central part of San Antonio. You are like five minutes to the airport. You're about 15 minutes to downtown. You are right around the corner from 281. Very, very close to absolutely everything. It is uh, Northeast ISD schools. Um, I believe it feeds I can't remember if it's Harmony Hills. I think it's Harmony Hills, Eisenhower, and Churchill. So uh, top rated schools in the area. And you get your own tennis court for under 700,000. We will be here on Saturday. I'm going to have a uh, lender coming with me so you can talk about options for financing. I know that nowadays financing is a scary word, but to be honest, it's not as scary as the media is making it seem. So I have somebody coming with me to help you figure out what your options are for financing and how we can make this house or any other house the one that will be yours, where you can start building equity and making a future savings and investment for your family. Um, I'm also working on trying to get a contractor to come in with us, and uh, he might be able to give you some pricing estimates for doing some cosmetic updates for some of these things that look like they could use a little bit of help around here. This house is fantastic. It's an entertainer's dream, tons of room, Lots of possibilities to repurpose spaces into home offices, extra bedrooms, plus you've got a sauna. I think you're going to want to come and see us this Saturday, 13706 Village Wood, and I'll be there from 1 to 3. Thank you.
See you then.